Replacing a control board of the MA5600T. Please pay attention to these items. Record the cable connections. Remove the cables. Loosen the captive screws on the panel of the control board. Pull the ejector levers to 90 degrees to the panel of the control board. Smoothly pull out the control board along the slot and dispose of the control board according to the specifications. Please pay attention to these items. Insert a new control board into the slot along the guide rails. When the ejector levers are in contact with the service subrack, pull the ejector levers to zero degrees to the panel of the control board and tighten the captive screws on the control board. Connect the cables according to the recorded information. Check the run alarm indicator on the control board. If the indicator blinks green once a second, the control board is running properly. After confirming that the services are restored, save the database and configuration files.